Whoa, hold up. Did DJI just sneak another drone under the radar? Yep. I don't know where. The DJI Neo 2 just popped up on the FCC listings. And let me tell you, this might be DJI's most underrated release of the year. So whether you're a casual drone flyer or just someone who loves new tech, this update is definitely worth your attention. Let's break down what we know, what's confirmed, what's rumored, and why the Neo 2 could quietly become DJI's next sleeper hit. Okay, so here's the deal. The DJI Neo 2 has officially been spotted in the FCC database, thanks to sharp-eyed leaker Mero Tandoy. That's a huge milestone, because FCC certification means the product is ready for sale in the US. Now, before you get too excited, this doesn't mean it's launching tomorrow. DJI could pull the trigger next week, or keep us all waiting for months. But judging from their past launch patterns, most FCC certified products go public within four to eight weeks. That means we could be looking at a late August to September 2025 release window. Fingers crossed. As for the price, nothing's official yet. But here's the good news. All signs point to the mid-range zone, right between the ultra-budget Tello and the higher-end Mini line. We're talking around $449 to $599, which makes the Neo 2 an attractive option for beginner pilots who want pro-level features without breaking the bank. Sounds tempting, right? Now let's talk about what makes this little drone actually exciting. First off, let's start with the design. Double-layered propeller guards. We saw it in a leaked prototype, and it's clear. DJI is going for safer, more refined protection, which is perfect for indoor flying or first-timers. This thing looks like it could take a few hits and keep on flying. Redesigned lightweight body. It keeps the classic mini drone silhouette, but gets a sleek refresh. More aerodynamic, more portable, and probably under that magic number of 249 grams to avoid registration in many countries. That's a win. Section four, camera and tracking upgrades. Big changes coming. Here's where it gets really interesting. Bigger camera sensor, one out of 1.3 inch. Whoa, that's a massive leap from the original Neo. We're talking, Ballot or low light shots, sharp or detail, possibly 4K at 60 frames per second, and even a D-Cine like color profile for some juicy color grading potential. Oh yeah, that's a mini beast in disguise. Active Track 6.0, Focus Tracks. DJI's tracking tech is no joke, and if this rumor is true, that means buttery smooth, subject tracking, smarter movement detection, and just cooler cinematic shots, all from a drone that fits in your pocket. Add in some HDR photo modes and improved dynamic range, and it's looking more and more like a tiny powerhouse. Section five, smarter flight, better navigation. Remember how the first Neo was kind of basic when it came to obstacle avoidance? <sighs> yeah, this time might be different. Rumor has it the Neo 2 brings real obstacle detection, possibly with front, back, and bottom sensors. That means safer flights, fewer crashes, and more confidence when flying in tight spots. And when you pair that with improved wind resistance and longer battery life, thanks to better aerodynamics, this thing could become the new go-to travel drone. Section six, what's still unknown? Now let's be honest, not everything is clear yet. We still don't know data tree specs, extra storage, online dimensions, or whether DJI will offer a fly more combo version. But based on past DJI launches, you can expect a few bundles, maybe a controller update, and at least one surprise. Section seven, other products coming soon. And just a quick heads up, DJI is cooking a whole lot more this season. We're talking disparate DJI Osmo 360, Buffy, and the Mini 5 Pro, which is expected to drop August 7th. So yeah, DJI isn't slowing down anytime soon. Why the Neo 2 might be a game changer. Here's the bottom line. The DJI Neo 2 might not be flashy. It might not steal headlines like the Inspire or the Air series, but it could be the perfect drone for everyday creators, casual flyers, and anyone who wants smart features in a compact, affordable body. And if the rumors hold true, then this little drone might just be DJI's most fun, most beginner-friendly, and most underrated launch of 2025. Get ready, because the DJI Osmo 360 is shaping up to be a game changer, and I've got all the juicy leaks and specs for you right here. Let's talk about the camera itself, because DJI is stepping up the game with this one. The Osmo 360 rocks a dual lens setup, and here's the kicker. One lens faces forward to capture your epic surroundings, while the other shoots your face at the same time. 
Oh yeah, imagine the reaction shots and vlogs you can make without worrying about pesky reframing. It's like your audience gets the full story from both angles simultaneously. Pure magic for storytelling. That means crisp, immersive video with buttery slow motion to highlight those jaw-dropping moments. If that's not enough, there's also a single lens mode with 4K at 120 frames per second and a super wide 170 degree field of view. Shout out to Igor Bogdanov, who dropped some seriously exciting images of the DJI Osmo 360. What caught my eye immediately? The camera isn't just sitting there on a typical selfie stick. Nope. It's mounted on a thick, sturdy grip that looks more like a battery extension or maybe some kind of super durable handheld stick. Battery life? Oh no, DJI didn't mess around. Without the grip, you get about 100 minutes of runtime, which is decent. But slap that battery grip on and you're looking at a massive 180 minutes of continuous 8K recording at 30 FPS. That's three hours of nonstop capturing I don't know about you, but that takes a huge worry off my mind when I'm out on an all-day adventure or a busy shoot. And those control buttons on the grip, perfect for quick adjustments on the fly. No fumbling around with menus while you're trying to catch the perfect shot. Pure joy for creators who want to stay in the moment. Now, hold on to your hats because the software DJI plans to pack in here sounds downright smart. We're talking AI-driven smart subject tracking and auto framing. Basically, the camera can keep your subject locked and perfectly framed without you lifting a finger. DJI is pushing a workflow mantra here. Shoot, sync, share, and I'm here for it. Whether you're into vlogs, action sports, or travel videos, this camera could seriously speed up your post-production time. The DJI Osmo 360 looks like it's going to blend action camera ruggedness with full 360 capture freedom, paired with smart tech that makes shooting and editing smoother than ever. It might just be DJI's smartest, most creator-friendly camera yet. Oh man, the creative possibilities are endless. All right, tell me, what's the first crazy scene you'd shoot with the DJI Osmo 360? The grip stick we saw might be part of a new adventure bundle, and it could work hand in hand with other DJI gear, like the Mic 3 transmitter. Talk about a creator's dream setup. But when can we get our hands on this beauty? While DJI hasn't confirmed anything yet, leaks and FCC filings hint at a late Q3 to early Q4 2025 release, so not too far off. The adventure or creator bundle with the grip and extra goodies might sit in the 699 to 749 range. Honestly, if the specs and features hold true, that price seems like a steal for what you're getting. Oh yes, I'm buzzing with excitement already. 